If you're one of them, please do not buy a house in Berkeley. Berkeley, California, a city known for its rich history, world-class university, and stunning home. It's no surprise that people are drawn to the idea of buying a home here. Guess what? Berkeley isn't for everyone. That's right. Berkeley isn't for everyone. In fact, there are three types of people who should not buy a house in Berkeley. And today, we're going to break it down. So, before you start packing those moving boxes, watch this video first let's get into it first up if you're the type of buyer who's constantly on the hunt for a bargain berkeley might not be the city for you let's face it berkeley is not cheap this is one of the most desirable places to live in the bay area and that means property prices here are sky high the median home price in berkeley is hovering around 1.4 million and that's just the median so if you're looking for a steal saying that you'll grab a single family home for a deep discount you're gonna be disappointed now not only are prices high, the competition is fierce. Homes in Berkeley are selling for above asking price, often with multiple offers. If you're looking for bargain and don't have the budget to compete, Berkeley may leave you frustrated. So, if you're dreaming of a fixer upper that's way under market value, you might want to explore other Bay Area options like Richmond or San Pablo, where you can still find some relatively more affordable homes. My name is Derek Hahn, your go-to real estate advisor in the East Bay Bay Area. My goal is to bring you valuable information on real estate-related topics in the Bay Area to keep you updated to help you make an informed decision with your real estate needs. If you like the content, please smash that like button and click subscribe for more future content. Next on the list, peace and quiet buyer. If you're someone who wants a quiet, sleepy town with no hustle and bustle, Berkeley might be your vibe. Berkeley is home to over 40,000 students, which means the city is always a live activity. From student protests to concerts, and let's not forget the heavy traffic and Telegraph Avenue, Berkeley is vibrant. But that can also mean it's noisy. While some people thrive in this kind of energy, others might find it overwhelming. If you're picturing quiet, peaceful mornings with no distraction, well, Berkeley constant hum might not give you the tranquility you're looking for. The city's diverse culture and active community are part of what makes Berkeley so special, but it's also what makes it busy. And depending on where you live, you'll be in some late night noise from nearby events or even your neighbors. So if you value or a quiet time above all else, you might want to rethink whether Berkeley is your ideal home base. Thinking about relocating to the Bay Area? Well, I got just a thing for you. I'm actually taking the time to create the ultimate relocation guide, which is meant to save you hours of research. And I have linked it down below. From top employers to the best hospitals, the top rated schools, and a boatload of other things that you need to know before you make the move. And last but not least, if you're someone who needs a lot of space, Berkeley may not meet your expectation. While Berkeley has some beautiful homes, a lot of them are on the smaller side. We're talking about cozy bungalow, historic cottages, and Victorians that come with a lot of charm, but not a whole lot of square footage. In fact, it's not uncommon to see homes with less than 1,500 square feet of living space. Backyards, they tend to be compact. And if you're used to sprawling of properties with tons of outdoor space, the dense urban layout of Berkeley may not fit your needs. Now, don't get me wrong. Berkeley has some incredible architects and well-designed homes. But if you're looking for what a suburban feel with wide streets, big lawns, and lots of room to roam, you may be happier looking in areas like Orinda, Olavia, where properties are larger and more spread out. So here you have it, these three types of people who should not probably buy a house in Berkeley. If you're looking for a bargain, craving peace of quiet, or need tons of space, Berkeley may not be the best fit. But here's the thing, this city has a lot to offer, and the right buyer is a dream come true. Whether or not Berkeley is right for you depends on your lifestyle and priority. If you're ready to embrace the energy, culture, and unique charm of this city, Berkeley might be a surprise to you. Thanks for watching. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, or hit that notification bell so you never miss on my latest real estate insight. Drop a comment below. What's your biggest priority when buying a home? And as always, if you need help navigating the Berkeley market, I'm here to guide you. See you next time.